and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. This week is all about the music. We have put together a few crafts so you can make your dolls musical instruments. From flutes to clarinets, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbooking paper to make an origami piano for a 12 inch doll. First I'm going to turn it over to the white side and then fold it in half. I'll find the center of my rectangle and take the side over. Crease it and then do the same to the other side. Now I'm going to take each side, open it up and then push it down. Fold the center up, then fold it down to meet that middle line, then open that up, fold it down again to meet that center line, and when you pull it down, it'll be the top of the piano. I am going to glue another strip of scrapbooking paper on top just to take up some of this white space. Use glue to secure the sides. Fold the sides in and glue down. Take a plastic bottle top, cover it in fabric, glue a small circle of foam underneath to the bottom, glue beads on his feet, and you're done. We can also turn this very easy piano into a vanity by adding a piece of scrapbooking paper to the entire top, make mirrors out of metallic scrapbooking paper, glue beads on for knobs, make nail polish and perfume bottles by taking a toothpick, coloring it black, apply some glue to a bead, insert the toothpick, and clip off the excess. And if the bottles won't stand up on their own, I just glue them to a circular piece of metallic scrapbooking paper. Put it all together, add a few finishing touches, and you're done. And for mini dolls, I just used a 5 inch by 5 inch piece of scrapbooking paper and a bottle cap for the seat. Going to make a gong for our doll yoga room using skinny sticks, craft paint, a toothpick, a plastic water bottle, a wooden bead, thread, and glue. I start by cutting the bottom off of a water bottle. And I'm using a water bottle that has a small bubble on the bottom. Trim it to get something that looks similar to a gong. Carefully make two holes. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. Paint it with acrylic paint, cut skinny sticks, place two parallel to one another, glue one across the top, another right under it, stand it up, glue the ends to two small pieces, then glue another one across the bottom for support. Paint it, paint a cut toothpick, glue a wooden bead onto the end of the toothpick, glue a loop of thread onto the other end, run string through the holes, Glue the string onto the skinny sticks, and I glued the string on the back of the skinny sticks in the corners. Hang the mallet on the side, and you're done. Happy crafting!
is a quick craft. I am going to make a clarinet for a doll using a golf tee, pliers, silver colored fun wire, and glue. I start by picking out a golf tee. And I'm using fun wire, which is a very thin plastic coated wire. It's very, very easy to manipulate and um, pretty soft versus this beading wire, which you know, you're really gonna need to use needle nose pliers to try to manipulate. Wrap wire around the top near the mouthpiece. When the wire meets itself in the back, I turn it down and then go around one more time. Now pliers, yes, will make this easier and a lot more precise. After going around a few times, I take the wire down the back, then begin bending it up to make small loops. Continue making several, then bend them over the T. Take the wire down some more, and then bend it around the bottom. Trim off the excess wire, then wrap a circle of wire around it to hold it in place. Then curl, cut, and glue on for added detail. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a guitar for a doll using recycled cereal boxes, scrapbook paper, a nail file, craft paint, Mod Podge or clear school glue, ribbon, a push pin, coated paper clips, thread, a pencil, and more glue. On a flat piece of cardboard from a cereal box, I start by sketching out a design for the headstock and neck. And I plan out where the tuning pegs should be to make sure they end up over the neck. Cut it out, trace it, and draw the body of the guitar. Cut it out, then trace just the body, stopping at the neck. And I round off that opening with a small notch. Cut it out to make my patterns. Tray several, making more of the body than the others. Cut them out, begin stacking and gluing them together using a glue stick. So we did seven of the body cutouts, then two of the full ones, and then two more of just the neck. Sand the edges to make them smooth, paint it with craft paint, trace and cut the pattern onto a piece of scrapbook paper, then sketch out a design cut it out and glue it on to be the pick guard cut pieces of scrapbook paper for the pickups and bridge cut thin strips of scrapbook paper glue them to the neck to be the frets use drops of paint for the position markers and knobs score and remove the coating from a paper clip pinch the end then glue them to the side for the pegs. Make a knot at the end of some thread. Glue the knot to the top of the guitar. Repeat for the other strings and allow it to dry. Once the glue has dried enough to keep the strings secure, glue the other ends at the bottom. Trim off the excess. Glue another piece of paper on top. Carefully push a push pin into the corner of the bridge. Glue a cut piece of a paper clip into its place. Apply another layer of Mod Podge, glue on a piece of ribbon for the strap, and if I want to make an acoustic guitar, I just cut a hole from the center of the full size pattern. Then glue them together just as before. Before I attach the neck, I paint the circle black, trace the pattern onto a piece of scrapbook paper, then cut it out and glue it on top. Then I paint the lower portion of the neck before gluing it on. Sand the sides, paint the rest of the neck, Paint the sides, glue scrap of paper to the back. With a dry brush of paint, begin fading the edge. Add the pick card, 
bridge, then continue just as before. Only this time, we use beads for the pegs. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a flute for a doll using wooden dowels, a toothpick, beads, craft paint, Mod Podge for a sealer, tools like dog nail clippers and tweezers, cardboard, felt, elastic cord, scrapbook paper, and glue. Using dog nail clippers, I start by trimming my wooden dowel down to size. I cut a thinner wooden dowel, I glue it to the side, and for a smaller doll, like a 12 inch, I would use a thinner wooden dowel and a toothpick. I begin gluing on beads, and I am using tweezers to prevent being burned, and put two on the side. I put a circle of glue at the other end, use the hot glue to make other details. Once dry, using metallic craft paint, I begin to cover it with a layer of paint. Allow it to dry on a baggie between each coat. To protect the paint, I seal it with a layer of Mod Podge. Cut pieces of cardboard, bend the sides, make small cuts in the corners so the sides can be folded forward, then bend and glue the corner pieces, make two, cover the box with scrapbook paper, cover the inside with felt, I glue a bead to the outside of one of the boxes, and a small piece of elastic cord to the inside of the other. I attach the two boxes by gluing a piece of felt from one side to the other. Cover small strips of stacked cardboard with felt, glue them into the box, use scrapbook paper to add more detail, I use felt to clean up my edges, place the flute inside, and you're done. Happy crafting! Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time.